and the level of destruction witnessed in different parts of the country and the aftermath of the NSAS protest has left many persons recurring losses of properties. This brings to the fore the relevance of insuring properties to forestall unforeseen circumstances. Now, joining me to discuss more on this, uh, that's insurance now, is insurance analyst Babatunde Raimi. Thank you for joining in. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Great. Now, um, here is a time to really uh, bring to the fore the importance of insuring buildings, properties, and even human lives, which is not too common in these parts. Talk to us about it, especially in the aftermath of uh, the, the, the protest. Um, thank you. It's not too common in this part because people in this part don't really believe in insurance. I too don't believe in insurance because insurance is not a religion, it's a plan. Mm. Insurance is a plan that you consciously <laughs> take. Okay, okay. So okay. as it is now, uh, while some people will be counting their losses, some other people are strolling to insurance companies to go and make claims. Mm -hmm. So it's, insurance is for the wise. So most people who did not insure their properties, let's say their buildings, their cars, where do they start from? Those whose uh, businesses were affected, maybe some of them borrowed loans from banks, they yes. used their yeah. fixed asset, where would they start from? Yeah. And this could lead to some psychological problems. So why not carry that risk and give it to insurance? In the last two years, I think the insurance sectors paid over 262 billion as claims. Mm. And the insurance sector is in the business to uh, pay claims, and we are still paying claims. So I don't know so, why people don't. In, uh, well, don't say you don't know why, because I was going to ask you that. I mean, here you are in the sector, and you just reeled out a number that was, that was paid sometime last year. So why is it that people are still um, ignorant or shy or shying away from insuring properties or lives or, or things? Like I said in my introductory statement, mm -hmm. they don't believe that it works. That's number one. Then um, I think I will not put the bulk of the blame on the proposed insured part. I will say the insurance company also have something to do on their part in terms of um, letting awareness. people under awareness, letting people understand that insurance works, you know, maximizing all forms of um, adverts to let people understand the claims that have been paid. Now I can tell you authoritatively that um, most claims can be paid within three days, seven working days, as long as it is verified. Really? Yes. That fast? Very fast. Lagos, the, the figure that was put for Lagos is one trillion. That's huge. Yeah, that's huge. But I can tell you that insurance will take care of it. Insurance will take care of it because they also have reinsurance partners. If it means them uh, relating with their reinsurance partners, they don't carry risk alone. Mm. Every mm. insurance company have reinsurance partners. Okay. So if let's say for instance, and Lagos insures a building and they've been paying the insurance for maybe ten years, and they've not made any claim, and they're about to make claim for the first time, don't worry. The Nigerian insurance sector, um, under the current NICOM and NIA, they are doing very well. And I can tell you that no matter the magnitude of the loss, the insurance companies can carry it. So if state governments are insuring their asset, for instance. Do you know that there are about six compulsory insurance in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. One of them is public buildings. So if you occupy a public building, you are supposed to naturally insure it. So where you don't insure it, you are already committing an offense. Okay. So, um, but it's I, not taken serious. Well, that's where enforcement comes in. Because um, I think um, Nigeria Insurance Act Section 65 of Section 2 mm. and the Lagos Building Control Law stipulates that any building that is not purely for residential purposes is public. Okay. So if you insure these things and losses occur, <coughs> you know, you have insurance as your backup. Mm. But when you don't do those things, it will be a total loss. We have to stop here now. Baba Tunde Raimi, thank you so much for your thoughts and the awareness. Thank you very much. We take care and have a great day. Mm.